to what we have in the bank and the funds that are invested with Westpac, we have an endowment fund. And the endowment fund was started on December 31st of 1992 with an anonymous donation of $25,000. Now, our endowment fund has grown over the years. Some people have contributed to it, but um, it's grown, it's now almost $180,000. The endowment fund, those funds were given for a specific purpose. Some are unrestricted, but the, the endowment fund, by definition, we can only use the interest that's been earned on those funds, not the principal that's been donated. I think we do have to explore the endowment fund and what we do in the future with it because our church is not doing great financially, and we do have for a church of our size, we do have a significant endowment, and we should determine how we can use that. But that's not something for today. I just wanted to mention that we do have funds available, despite the fact that we have deficits and projecting a deficit on this budget. So that's pretty much what I had. Yes. The deficit projected for 2023 is 44,854. That's 2023. Was okay, the total, the deficit, if you take the, what we call the operating fund, that deficit is $105,053.50 through the end of September. That's, that's something that's on our balance sheet. It's not part of our budget. Um, so that's an accumulation of our deficits throughout our history up until through September. It's $105,000. And this has fluctuated over the years. At times, and for a long time, there, there was a very large positive balance in the operating fund. And then as sometimes when we, we incurred more expenses and we had less members, that, that dropped. And at times when we've had a part-time minister, then we've, we've reduced our expenses and that has been a little healthier as far as the, in the operating fund. But that $105,000 is an accumulation of what our operating fund deficit has been through September. And that, it, might, it might help to think of it as money over all those years that has not been covered by pledges and income. So, and so we've had to take out of savings, we've had to take out of investments. We don't owe that money, but that's money that we had to pay from something other than the income for that calendar year. And that's where I was going with this. We're not going to have a lot of covered per se, but you're raising the whole point of how the operating fund has had its issues, and now we're looking at 2023 as the, as the year that I the 44,000 that needs to be covered. That's yes. correct. We, 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 have, we have funds that have been given for specific purposes. And we are, all, all of our money is kind of pooled together. We keep accounting on what is supposed to be applied to what. But we have some money in the bank locally at $23,000. We have money invested with United Methodist Church West Pat, which is $116,000. And then we have this endowment fund, which is invested with United Church funds that we keep separate. But we use the funds that we have available. We do have funds that were for specific purposes, and at some point, the funds are going to have to be used for those specific purposes. But that's not really um, part of what we're doing today for the budget. But those are very good questions, so thank you. Any other questions? I mean, I don't like to stand here and present a budget that has a deficit, but there really is no other option. We, we have, we've reduced expenses as much as we can, um, and we have to find ways to increase our income. Um, 
and it's not something that says not sustainable long term. It's not something that you know we're going to get through years more of this. What we have now, if we have to. But um, as I said, the expenses were reduced as much as as we possibly could, and the income is based on the revenue that was collected. Evangelism. <laughs> Peace evangelism going on. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Any other questions? I hope my explanation was not too confusing, but if anybody does have any questions later on, I'd be happy to answer. And the other thing we would ask so many of you have filled out pledge cards, and what that lets us do is we understand how much money you will be giving the church over 12 months. That goes into the budget fund. A lot of you are generously giving, but you have not filled out a pledge card. If you regularly give and you haven't filled out a pledge card, that helps us under get a better grasp on our income because we, whatever donations come in in the weekly collection that are not tied to a pledge, obviously those go into income, but we they can't count on those. You don't know what those are going to be. So if you haven't filled out a pledge card, please do. Um, if you can find it in your heart and your own budget to give more, please do. And I understand many of you are giving what you can, and there are many, many ways to give. We have so many people who are giving time, they're giving their talent, they're sitting with people, they're calling people, they're sending cards to people and reaching out, they're cooking chicken dinners, <laughs> they're preparing the celebrations. So there are many, many different ways to give. This is not all about money. And as Rick said, we've got money in the bank to go for a while. We have two ministerial candidates in the pipeline. Um, we're very excited about that. We have, we were worried if we were gonna be able to replace Nikki, we got a wonderful candidate. God is working in our church. We just have to hang in there and pray and keep going with the, keep going with the Spirit. And, yes, and I wanted to add to that uh, ministerial, the $250 a week thing. Um, we do have a member of this church who runs our Sunday school and is given two weeks a month of, of uh, his time away. But we are asking Walter uh, running the service for nothing, so you know, for free. So that's, that's the kind of talent and time that really makes up. Any other questions? Dan is going to be Dan is going to be our guest preacher uh, for until we for probably two weeks a month until we get a regular or a a, a hopefully not one permanent part time pastor in and he is donating his time so that is another piece of expense that we're not going to be incurring over the next couple of months so thank you Dan there is nothing else do you want me to call the motion here. Do we have a motion to approve the budget as presented? Can we move? Do we have a second? Thank you. Mary, second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Motion carries. Okay. Do we have a motion to close the congregational meeting? We have a second. second. Any? All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. I'll turn it back over to Sylvia because we have to open and close the congressional meeting. Right. The corporate meeting. <laughs> Once we finish with the congregational meeting, then we have to have a corporate meeting to accept all the motions that we took care of in the congregational meeting. So, can I have a motion to open the corporate meeting at this time? Those in favor of opening the corporate meeting, say aye. aye. Those opposed? So, so our corporate meeting is now open, and then we need a motion to adopt all the actions made at the 2023 special congregational meeting. So, Terry. Second. Second. Terry. <laughs> all those in favor of adopting all the actions made at the 2023 Special Congregational Meeting, please say aye. 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 Those opposed? 
Thank you very much. Then we just need a motion to close the corporate meeting. Okay. Right. So I'm saying, <laughs> okay. all those in favor of approving closing the corporate meeting, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you very much. And Donna will close us in prayer. Let us pray, Father. Father, thank you for revealing your love to us today. We ask you to send us out from here in the power of the Holy Spirit, fan into flame the gifts that you have given us as we attempt to emulate your Son, Jesus Christ. Come reveal your grace and truth to us each day. The Lord is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. <laughs> Please join us downstairs to celebrate and honor Jeanette. For those of you who are not going downstairs, thank you so much for the privilege to serve and to be here at Camden Valley. I will give special thanks to Dr. Music and the choir and so many everyone who has been a great aid to me. But I will give you the opportunity to thank you for that. Could you um, sign a card?